Okay, cool. And we're joined by Steve. Uh, that's fantastic. Steve has been doing a great, great work for uh, the BISC, well, now in general, and especially the documentation. So Steve, what's up? Hi, hello. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you very much for joining us. Um, yeah, uh, really a great work with, with BISC so far. Appreciate it. I'm really liking, uh, uh, it's, it's been great to see the BTC Pay docs kind of blossom. I've been kind of Kind of jealous now of what you guys have there, and I guess expecting some cool things from Wasabi now too. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> and, I mean, let, let's hope we can all uh, work on this together, and then make sure that uh, all three documentations will will be the best. <laughs> Definitely. So m maybe to to start it out with. Um, uh, you have written your documentation in ASCII doc. Uh, so could you please talk a bit about the tools that you use and how comfortable you are with them and if you could recommend them? Yeah, so I um, I actually really like ASCII doc just as a as a markup uh, language or tool or uh, I guess whatever you call it as a markup language it's really really nice to work with the tools that it provides to uh, to do documentation related writing uh, are very nice uh, what they call admonitions, uh, text, uh, what they call, uh, I guess, side, side panels and code uh, markup. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things that it offers out of the box to, to make documentation look like documentation and uh, to look uh, pleasing, so to speak. Um, the tooling, we use something called ASCII Doctor that builds the markup into HTML uh, pages that you can throw on a server. It's very nice from a developer standpoint or from a writer standpoint in that the markup itself is not hard to learn. It's very much like Markdown, but pretty much uh, kind of dressed up and, and with more features. Um, and then the build process is very easy. It's just a one, a one command to build it into the HTML. Um, what I don't like, and the reason I would not recommend it, and the reason I'm actually trying to actively move away from it, is that it's very, very, very limited from a uh, a feature, like a user-facing feature standpoint and a, an interface standpoint. It's very hard to do any kind of hierarchy or any kind of like nesting. So you can't really have directories. I mean, you can have directories, but you have to fight the the configurations and stuff to to make it work. Um, and anything beyond uh, the generated HTML is very hard to do. So for example, search is close to impossible. I mean, I could probably find a way to generate like a site map automatically that, and then just have like a, a simple JavaScript plugin to do it, but it just it seems very clunky and I don't know if it would hold up uh, long-term uh, to maintain it. Um, so those two things for me, oh, and the other big thing is translations. So translations, again, you'd have to do that yourself. You'd have to figure out a hierarchy. Um, ideally, you would have some kind of folder structure, which, as I mentioned, is very hard to do. So um, those, those things, the, the hierarchy, organizing files for a better interface, translations, and um, what was the other thing? Uh, search are the three things that keep me from recommending it. Uh, to to deploy a an extensive set of docs, but from a writing standpoint, it's great. 